Hi, I'm Liam O'Brien. I play for the England Physical Disability Team and I'm an all-rounder. My earliest memories of playing cricket was playing in the garden with my dad. My dad picked up that I really enjoyed watching cricket and thought I'll give it a go and he spent hours and hours in the garden with me. I'd say sport in general kept me going through the difficult times. It was just my will to compete. My family are really competitive, my dad especially, like growing up, and that kind of rubbed off on us. My condition is bilateral talipes, uh, otherwise known as clubfoot. It basically just means my feet were born inwards at birth and I had to have loads of surgeries just to correct them. I was really self-conscious growing up because of them and it's only recently that I've started to embrace it and take a real pride in the fact that I can have a disability and still be better than most fully able people who train every day. If I'm honest, I wasn't actually sure about disability sport just because of the stigma around the word. If you say disability, you think this or you can't do something. So I was a bit um, skeptical of the actual ability and I was still really driven to make it mainstream professional. And it took me one trial and one talk with Ian Sauls with the head coach that really convinced me this is the right thing to do. And looking back, I'm really proud I did make this move. Somebody came across and said, we've got this youngster, big, brave, brash, who loves playing cricket. Just found out he uh, has a disability, could play for your side. He's dynamic batsman, fantastic bowler, and also a brilliant fielder as well. But I think it's more than that, you know, he brings youth, energy and a determination to win. The, the best thing about playing with this set of lads is we're like a family. I guess we've all got a story as well, we've all got a different upbringing that brought us to this stage and I think it makes us really tough individuals as well. We've grinded hard to make sure we're here and I think we all deserve to play for England. It's only recently that my England dreams come true. But that was always my main ambition and singing the national anthem was always a big goal of mine and I've ticked that off the list and it's an unbelievably proud moment when you sing the anthem and your family are opposite you singing it as well. My long term ambitions is to make this physical disability team professional. I think if a few people come into this environment and see how inspiring it can be, we're not too far off. Short term goal is to win the World Cup. I've worked as hard as physically possible to make sure I'm in the best shape to win a World Cup for England. Fingers crossed in a few weeks' time we'll be holding that trophy. There's 10 million people with a disability in this country and my dream is that if anybody puts in the words sport and disability into Google, the first thing that comes up is England Disability Site. I believe we should have more access, more people seeing what we do. I cleared pavilions, I was reverse sweeping the fast bowlers, I was ramping people and it was only written about. So if from a non-disability point of view you're going to read it as our oh, disabled kids done well against disabled people. If people see me reverse sweeping someone for six, hit clearing pavilions, that's amazing no matter what you've got and I think they'll see that we're actually athletes who play cricket who actually have a disability rather than disabled cricketers who are trying to be athletes. We're athletes um, and it just, just so happens that we have a disability as well.